Thames. Uh, it is a pleasure, Mr. Speaker, to pay my uh, tribute to uh, His Royal Highness Prince Philip. And we've heard lots today about his distinguished naval career. But the sea remained in his blood for the rest of his life. And I'd like to just thank him for all the support he's given to the maritime sector. And in particular, to highlight his contribution to bringing the Cutty Sark to Greenwich, which is now a permanent landmark, which will be his lasting legacy here in London. I'd also like to just refer to the fact he came down to Thurrock to visit our newest port, our then newest port, London Gateway, in 2011. And that was a visit he made at his own personal request because of his genuine interest in ships and the sea. And we're very grateful for all his support to the sector. Now, he lived by the principle, never complain, never explain, uh, which given the approach of his good sense of humour and his ability to put people at ease, was often taken out of, concept, out of context by some elements of our press. But the great British public reached their own view about Prince Philip, and they loved him. And I genuinely hope that the outpouring of affection that we've witnessed over the last few days is of real comfort to Her Majesty the Queen and the Royal Family as they mourn his loss. Yeah. Yeah. Final speech.